Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Robo Sitakan Assembly, and we have two wars on our hands. The Usanos uh, Vestige uh, attacked us. Uh, they did not like Cesar being so close, but we will we will crush them. Um, you know, as soon as this ship is uh, finished repairing, I think I'm gonna send them up here and like. Lock in some of the stuff with uh, um, Frontier Outposts. Uh, that way, you know, I don't risk these guys expanding and getting these worlds. Alright, well, let's get right back into it. Situation log updated. Just blowing up more of these. What do we got on this? Marauder missiles. Nothing but Marauder missiles. Oh, uh, one one change um, that has also been done. Um, with the subspace snare, uh, the fleets no longer land literally right on top of these things anymore. Which is good and bad. Um, can no longer do the, the setup where, you know, you put one here and then you put all the non-snare ones in a circle around it. Uh, or at least, I mean, you can, but it may not be quite so effective. Because uh, you'll never know exactly where they're going to, you know, where they're going to land and everything like that. Alright, you have been repaired. Let's go ahead and pop up here. System survey complete. Actually, just go enter the uh, the star's orbit. Um, actually, Robin, let's send you up as well, so we can re we can build two at once. Hopefully, that is. Right, you know what? Actually, go there. then enter that orbit. All right. Finished your spaceport. Excellent. Waiting for the uh, defenses to be bombarded. The Cybrix Central Nexus. It would seem that the Cybrix re-evaluated their galactic crusade against organic life at some point during its 17th year. Whether this change was prompted by losses on, their, on the battlefield, or an ideological shift in their networked consensus, we may never know. But, what, but for whatever reason, the Cybrix decided to halt their campaign. They began a slow withdrawal that lasted for nearly a century, until they eventually vanished completely. We now know that they retreated to this system, where they had constructed a massive ring world designed to house their entire civilization. They isolated themselves here for several millennia, until an in independent explorer chanced upon their system and spread its location to the rest of the galaxy. Well, they should have had a defense station with the, with the subspace snare. The news that the, that the dreaded Cybrex had been found again prompted several neighboring powers to organize a massive military expedition, which bombarded the Cybrex ring, ring world into rubble. Strangely, the Cybrex seemed to have offered no resistance whatsoever. Fascinating. 9,999 unity. Wow. Wow, that, that, that would be pretty good early on. Uh, 2,000 energy credits and 500 uh, um, engineering research. Ends the Cybrix home system event chain. So, that is what we want by uh, getting here first. Excellent. And we'll go ahead and uh, research everything. Huh. Can we no longer get uh, living metal from this system? Is that a thing now? Oh, that sucks if so. I want living metal. I hope that's not a thing. Alright, probably are good enough that you can land now.
Hi guys. How's it going? All right, what do we want you to do next? Um, no defenses here. So go there. How you doing? All right, ready to uh, go. And the army's here. Construction complete. System survey complete. All right, got that world. Um, yeah, now I am going to go straight there. And hope that my fleet is uh, good enough. One ship can be upgraded, and that's fine. Whatever. Uh, I was going to check something. Oh, yeah. What was it? This. Yeah, no living metal anymore. That's all there was to uh, find here. That is... That is actually really unfortunate. Well, I guess we'll just uh, do some uh, surveying. Situation log updated. Ah, so much fun. We're at fifty percent. Negative fifty one. All right. I kind of wish that there were ticking war scores and stuff like that in this game, but I'm not sure how that would work with the like establishing protectorates and everything like that. So, well, I suppose occupying. You know, I mean, occupying that one, and then I suppose occupying everything up here would be the uh, ticking war score, but. Okay, you're ready to go when we uh, get through. You're down here. What are you? Uh, what are you doing? It's kind of protecting this area or something. Let's see if we can chase you down then. Jump into all these systems so I don't have to worry about defense stations. And then when you're done, I think uh, I'm going to want you to come back up here. Ancient Cybrick Space. The hostile and unforgiving world of Rochelle 2 was home to what was what once appears to have been a large Cybrix base. Nothing remains of it now aside from scattered debris and a large crater. We will have to investigate the site of the base more closely, if we are to learn more. I was kind of hoping that this would be a, uh, you know, like, trigger a, a second one. Situation log Interesting. Update. Uh, I wonder. You know, it's just stuff there, okay. It'd be really funny if it, like, had the, you know, like, triggered a, a second uh, Cybrix Alpha. <laughs> Situation log updated. Holy cow, those things got beefed. 16k now. Shielded world. I'm going to need to get my uh, science ships uh, ready to investigate all of this as well. Situation log updated. Unemployment. Uh, you're not doing anything. Then, for now, work that. You can go blow that up.
Alright, there's her big fleet. Alright, let's take the risk. One seventy nine versus one twenty six. Oh, they're fleeing. Oh, wow. Situation I was not expecting them to flee. Nope, nope, they came back. Two star, the two star uh, admiral. Wow. Versus Arden Kell, Gale Speed, Fleet Logistician, Synthetic, five stars. Fire rate plus 25%. System survey complete. Our battleships are getting chewed up, but we're chewing up their escorts. What are they using? They are using, ah, uh, they're using uh, Giga Cannons as well, which is not the best for us. Let's see, what are you doing? Let's go have you do something else. Um, sure, go blow that stuff up. Go ahead and take that world. Okay, we haven't lost too much out of this yet. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Situation okay, now we're getting chewed up. But still, I think we're doing a lot more damage than they are. I like how, uh... Transport ships just uh, fly in a ring like that when they're waiting. Oh, look at that. Alright, let's go ahead and take this. Take care of this. Mark all. Alright, uh, is that the only colonizable world? There it is. Go blow that up and then. Um, Head over there. Yeah, I mean we're we're taking care of them no problem, but uh, yeah, we 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 did lose a lot out of that. Fifteen battleships out of one hundred ten lost all three of our destroyers. But their, uh, their fleet has been demolished. So let's go ahead and bombard that. Where are my science ships? Uh, nice bug there. All right, you know what? Rather than do that... Let's see, is there anything dangerous here? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, those are those are going to be dangerous. Um, all right, I want, uh, I want the science ships uh, ready to explore this stuff. You're over here. Get you over there as well. And then when you're done here, I'll do the same with you. Situation log updated. Construction complete. What do you have going on? Uh yep. Fire rate reduction, that's kind of, kind of cruddy.
All right, let's do upgrades on those. Okay. Get all of those. We'll get the uh, synchronized defenses. I really do wish that you could get more modules for defenses. Like, put in two additional, you know, weapons modules or something like that that add another, you know, 2k to the, uh, to the station power or something like that. Alright, what is the defenses there? Defenses are not that good, surprisingly. Special project complete. Situation log updated. We found debris on Reshel 2 from a large ship that does not appear to have been of Cybrick's origin, in the crater of what was once the site of their base. Our archaeologists speculate that the ship belonged to one of the organic civilizations under Cybrick's attack. If so, it may have been sent to collide with the base in some kind of suicide run. No other explanation for the destruction of the base has been found. An interesting find. Nope, well, doesn't add to the, uh, to the thing. That would be that would be pretty funny though. Actually, you know what? No, nope. won't well, let me go up there. Uh, all right. Uh, no, don't do that. Okay, that should be safe. Alright, that should be safe. Holy cow. There's a lot of defense stations there. Okay, you're going already moving to another world. Back up here. Situation log updated. Trade deal with the Han Confederacy timed out. That's whatever. Don't care. Don't care. Okay, that looks like that's about ready to be taken. Why isn't there a pop there? That's kind of weird. Oh, did no, they must have moved him from from there to there. Incoming transmission. Really weird. Uh energy credits and minerals for Rillium. Sure, whatever. Enemy planet secure. Thank you. This is going to be, uh, fun. Let's go! Uh, let's see. You don't really need repairs there. Go blow that up. Go blow that up. blow all of these up. Just have you uh, do a little bit of marauding, I guess. Take care of that energy there. I kind of wish that you could tell a fleet to maraud and just say, you know, uh, go wander around, blow up, you know, mining stations, avoiding 
Avoiding fights and stuff like that just generally be nuisances. I mean, obviously, then the AI would be able to do that to you, and that would be annoying, but... Situation log updated. You know, it's... Actually, oh, hello. Uh, where are you going? Welcome to Neshman. Where's Neshman? Go follow them to Neshmet. See if we can catch them and deal some deal some damage. I did uh yeah, I did. I wanna make sure that I told them to go. Research complete. All right, flak artillery. Um, now it's just uh, s repeating techs. Um, kinetic weapon attack speed seems good. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Minor mandate fulfilled. All right, sounds good. Fine. Actually, you know what? We could probably get started building these frontier outposts. I mean, what are they going to do? Declare war on us? Alrighty. Situation log updated. There's a lot of hull points there. <laughs> Cyberx Research Station. A single badly scorched module is all that is left of a Cyberx Research Station that once orbited Lantheros II hundreds of thousands of years ago. How do we not find these things? The vacuum exposed inside of the module is filled with uh, the dead remains of creatures that are part machine and part organic. Situation Interesting. Updated. So they were trying to do what we succeeded at. Research that. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Situation log Nice. Updated. Construction complete. Only lost uh, four battleships out of that. Still, lost four battleships out of that. <laughs> Which is uh, a little bit, a little bit much, but, you know, what are you going to do? Hi there! How's it going? Caught ya! Situation log updated. Situation log there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and... Well, actually, um... See, when you're done with all of that... Go back there and bombard that. Okay, we can take this world now. I could probably split up my uh, armies and my fleets a little bit more. Might be a little bit faster. Situation log updated. Enemy planet secure. that. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and bombard that, please. Uh, what are you doing? You go ahead and head up here. Few that I could 
pull out there. I really hate that that missing fleet. I mean, that's a massive, massive uh, army that has just <laughs> vanished into the ether that I'm not getting back. Research complete. All right, arc emitters. Not doing planetary shields. Uh, let's see, planetary sensor range, energy credits, or shield hit points. Well, since we're in a war right now, let's go for shield hit points. That seems like the best idea at the moment. Okay. Let's go ahead and split you. You follow that one. You follow that one. You will come down here. And what else have we already, uh, yep, all right, you've got no real defenses here. Come blow that up. Okay. Construction complete. That is going to take a little while to uh, knock that all down. Let's see, you can get your Situation solar panel complete. network, orbital hydroponic. And observatory and synchronized defenses. We got unemployment. Well, we can upgrade that. Let's go ahead and just uh, swap you there. Situation log updated. God damn it, guys! Stop disrupting my uh, my Situation bombardment. That is a lot of armies there. Jeez, that's going to be interesting. Physics research, engineering research. Situation updated. Situation updated. It is kind of annoying how quickly, I mean, how long wars can take in this game now. Alright, let's see how this goes. An analysis of the Cybrix research module we found above Latheros 2 has revealed that the machine consciousness was experimenting with cybernetic life forms. Hundreds of unfortunate prisoners were transported to this facility for the purpose of having their limbs and organs replaced with various mechanical contraptions. The exact objective of these tests remains unclear. There is no evidence that the Cybrix ever made use of cybernetic units outside of this lab. An interesting find. And I believe that is all of the Cybrex stuff that we're going to find. I was kind of hoping that would, like, trigger a second a second one of those, but uh, no. That is unfortunate. Oh, well. Situation Let's watch the deaths of these uh, uh, precursor uh, armies. I'm capped out on energy, huh? Secure. Right, we'll go ahead and do that. And bombard that one. Alright. Well. Let's start out by uh, giving these guys a lump sum. There you go. It's going to be a little while. We don't have armies. Am I still making armies up here? Yes, I am. How many more? Quite a few. All right, let's embark them all. Uh, 
Uh, four is not that many, but they are um, xenomorphs. So they may be able to make short work of the defense armies. Um, and if not, I can always pop them out into space, let them recover, and then land them again. Uh, that is a thing that you can do when you don't have a whole lot of armies. As long as you're bombarding them, the, uh, the defense ones will not heal up, but yours will. Still, I don't like doing it because it's a lot of micro. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this episode. When we return, we will go ahead and uh, continue our uh, fight against uh, the Usnas Vestige. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>